Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Yes, indeed. Yeah. We got Diddy or Love. 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 We got Love. You in the look building. very New Yorkish today. Oh, man. You got the Tim's on with the puppy coat. Yeah, welcome oh, yeah. home. Yeah, Diddy. I feel like welcome you just home. bought that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely, definitely didn't have that in Cali. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have this in LA. So. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It, it definitely, um, I, f I feel good. I was saying, I was saying thank y'all for the balloons and everything. Just thank you know everybody for the love because I was just in a um, in the spirit of gratitude of just like how like like how important it is as an artist to get an opportunity to come on the Breakfast Club. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm puff or just like you know just the things that I have on the schedule, it really it really really is a blessing. So yeah, I'm just here blessed. Excited and um, always a pleasure to see you. I used you. to be scared to do the morning, the no. breakfast club. I ain't scared no more. You should never be scared, but we want to appreciate you because you were one of the, the first people that believed and put us on your platform. That is very true. Partnership yeah, with you thank guys. you. And when a lot of people were scared, you know, we came on early on, you know, what I mean, when you were building revolt, and we just always want to say thank you for that. Oh we man, appreciate thank you, for that, thank you. Honey. And you know, we do this because you are a living legend. I know Absolutely. people like to throw that term around now, mm -hmm. but you really are an icon living. Mm, I appreciate that. And, it feels good. And I had a chance to see you at the iHeart Festival. I went to Vegas, so you tore it down, and you had yeah. your son on stage. I saw the live that you did beforehand. Yes. Saying how he has a hit record right now. Yes. Yes. Um, he, he, Christian, which is, you know, my youngest son, and... Your he, clone. Yeah, my clone. He's like my twin. <laughs> but he always wanted to be on stage since he was three years old. Mm -hmm. Every time he would be at, you know, on tour, he would just, like, be mesmerized by the stage and, and want to get on and talk on the mic to the people. And um, so he came out, and when he, st he said he wanted to be a rapper, I said, well, you, you got to do it on your own. So he found his own distribution. Mm -hmm started grinding but everybody thought that I was helping him you know what I'm saying and so um you know they was definitely giving him like you know making him work for what he just accomplished you know what I'm saying which was what he had to do he had to give him you know an undeniable hater proof record he got one and he got one with Kodak Black mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying can't stop won't stop bad boy he's on the BET awards tonight performing it that's right and I'm I'm so proud of him because I had nothing to do with it. I had not, I didn't call BT. I, I didn't call nobody mm -hmm. and ask him. You know, I I did ask a couple of DJs since me and him are both on the charts. If he if they could, you know, saying support the records as family. But that's after he had the hit. You know what I'm saying? Besides that, he got it on his own. And I want to make that clear to people because they definitely made him work for it. And he did the work. And congratulations, we the first father and son duo to be on the top ten. Wow. Okay. Competition That's... in the house, though. Is that competition in the house now, though? Like, Wait, let's give a, so a, a, a round of applause yeah, for that. That's legendary. That's legendary. That's first father and son. And son. that's dangerous territory for him because it's like you sample mm -hmm. crush on you, mm -hmm. and you're saying the can't stop, won't stop, which is a legendary phrase. Yeah. That could be very big shoes to fill, but yeah. he, he seems to have uh, done his job. Yeah, and definitely. I, you know, I told him, you know, Bad Boy was on pause, and he was like, nah, there's no way I'm letting and that he's he's so bad boy so he's just taking the flag up himself and it's really really proud to see you know him to go through you know that that adversity i was asking is there any friendly competition in the crib at all yeah um <laughs> the other day he was charting higher than me <laughs> out of nowhere and they just like delivered me the message and i was just like i know that's my son but he's not getting to number one before me. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, that is not the way we come back in together. You blackballed. <laughs> no, no, I didn't blackball him. I just told my team to turn up. Mm -hmm. And I felt so proud. Like, I felt, like, just so proud. That's kind of fucked up, that, he? That, 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 that he was higher on the chart than yeah. me. Who's you know higher what I'm saying? He is? Um, I don't think as of today. But, <laughs> but you got more resources. That's not fair. Yeah. You guys go straight. Hey, yo, hey, yo it's, it's just like running a race with your pops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, how did you get Young but, Miami on the remix? Um, yeah. <laughs> she, how'd, you, how'd you get Did she charge you? Did she charge you? How'd you get it? Nah, card? nah, nah. She was at the studio. I said, get on the mic. Let's do this. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, she was in the studio. And she cleared it right away, no problems? 
clear the right away. Yeah, <laughs> it, everything's clear. Everything's clear. You know what I'm saying? So you knew you wanted Young Miami and Ashanti. Yes, okay. I knew I wanted. Um, Young know, you know, Miami was really supposed to just do it for a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. She wanted to do the open mic challenge. She really loved the record, and um, but Ashanti, you know, um, I just felt Ashanti just, just because I think that that music and art could. You know what I'm saying? It gives you a chance to speak your mind when it comes to the love territory. And, you know, after I seen Irv do his thing, and I was just thinking, I was like, sis may want to, you know, um, you know, just you know, express herself on this song, you know? Oh, so she's, it's kind of like a rebuttal to the stuff Irv was saying? Is what you... Yeah, like, we talk about whatever's going through our lives. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and Irv is my man, and that's I, I know Ashanti before. Ashanti was, like, you know, 14. And I just felt like with the, with the music, I'm trying to get real truth out the music. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I was actually, I was calling different people that, you know, maybe had public relationships because that's what, you know, you know, when I made the record, it was from my public relationship and me having to move on. And so that's how it kind of came together. Mm-hmm. And I feel when you make records in, the tr- on, in that truth, it really jumps out. So, um, yeah, nah, the remix is, is really crazy. It's like the rest of my remixes, it's, 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 it's going to take the record to the next level. And, um, yeah, they, they really, really, really did their thing. You know? That's interesting to see you that vulnerable and even to admit that that record is about an ex-relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a, you know, when you in this game and, you know, you could definitely get an ego, you know what I'm saying, and definitely experience an ego death when it's somebody that you like, nah, we're we, we going to make it through anything, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But then when it's over, and then it's it's um, yeah, it's over. Like when when something's really really over with a woman, it's over, and 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 you gotta move on. And so I really had to learn that in my life. I didn't want to move on. I was. But going, that's I don't go out without a fight. I'm like crazy boyfriend. Right. But even after they <laughs> married and got kids and everything else, you stir up a lot of shit like that. Did he? If they married and got kids, um. No, I mean, that's when you got to move on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's yeah. the only reason why I moved on. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 it's, I'm, it's, it's always going to be, you know, that's the thing I have as an artist is my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I may not, I maybe cannot write the best rhymes as Kendrick or Nas, but as an artist artistically telling my truth, you know what I'm saying, whether it's, it's through love or getting money or whatever it is, it's, it's, it's going to like ring true, you what, know? What accountability do you take in that coming to an end? Me? I mean, everything. I was just like, you know, I, I just, you know, I, I, was, I just was, wasn't, was um, I've never been a good boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Are you a whore? And that's why, no, no, we're, I'm single, you know, and, mm-hmm. and I'm honest. Now, but I was like, I would always be, you know, lying or seeing it. But then the internet just went so crazy, you know, and and I I definitely was like a you know a cheater. Were you insecure? That's, okay. Boyfriend? Huh? Were you insecure? No, boyfriend? I wasn't insecure. I just I was just wanting my cake and eat, too eat it too. <laughs> I just I just wanted it all. I'm a, I was just a Scorpio. And you don't want those with, women to with do a lot other of money, things. huh? And you don't want those women to do other things. I think a lot of guys have that where they're like, I want to you know be together, be with you, treat you like my woman. Have you not do other things? But I'm gonna do other things. Um. Yeah, I mean, I mean, before I, I just wanted to have a girlfriend and just have maybe some girls on the side. You know what I'm saying? Just to have, you know what I'm saying? But I had one in my previous relation. I wanted to it to just be like that, you know. And um, you know, I had a lot of growing up to do. You know what I'm saying? I grow, you know, even if I was older, I had a, you know, the, the way I was seeing it, I wasn't seeing it right. You know, you can't play with somebody's live life. You can't play with somebody's heart. Have you grown up? You said you needed to grow up. Have yeah, you grown yeah, up? yeah. So you know, if when you get into that situation again, you won't be the same Diddy as. Yeah, I won't be in that situation because I, I'm, I'm, I'm just fair and I'm honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm single and I'm able to do whatever I want to do in my life. You single and you able to do whatever you want to do in your life because that's the season I'm in. So instead of lying about it, hurting somebody about it, hey. Wanna go to Italy? Carisha say y'all go together real bad. <laughs> uh-huh. Bad, bad. But she also bad. says she's single, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Carisha's single. I'm single, and um, 
It's working but she, for you. She, no, no, no. I'm saying she's one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. This girl is one of the. I'm so blessed to have met this human being. You know what I'm saying? Just the uh, the way she makes me laugh, mm -hmm. the way she, you know, just you know, rides with me, and you know what I'm saying? The support without it having to be, oh, this is my girl, or this is this situation. You know what I'm saying? She's like a, has been a real friend. And, and you don't get, like, you don't find best friends later on in life. Mm -hmm. that's you right. know what I'm saying? And so she's she's one of my best friends, and that's really the definition for it. That's, that's my shorty wop. She always going to be laced, always going to be hot, smiling. I you love seeing saying? your dynamics on Carisha, please. I was like, look at Diddy acting like... A little shy. He blushing yeah. now. You know, kind <laughs> yeah. of. He blushing behind the shades right questions, now. Yeah. Not knowing what to say. I think that's a good thing, though. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like I'm I'm saying I'm not monogamous, but I'm not not ready for you know what I'm saying for my snow soul to be snatched. I'm not trying to be a player. I'm not trying to be like a pimp or nothing like that. I'm just you know I think dating. Is important when you've gone through something and you know you're not really ready to be in a relationship and and, and, and it's getting to an important time mm -hmm. you know it, you know just taking the time to get to know people you know I could have had people that I took the time with to date that I could have been in a relationship with and then been broke over somebody else but now nah, we dated we had fun we saw it didn't feel right mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it didn't last the test of time so I mean that's 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 my world you know what I'm saying and I'm not taking away from any man that's in love or any people that want to be married or want to you know say they monogamous but mm -hmm. they not i'm just telling the truth wait, wait listen real quick real do you quick you want to get married cuz i heard you say no i don't want to get married you don't want to get married no i i don't want to get married but i would have a ceremony a ceremony that would be better for a wedding for for my wife you just want to have a party you yeah, uh, have a party this a party this is a party this is a ditty party nah because <laughs> be, because if, if 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 it would be like a a celebration in a ceremony mm -hmm. it would be a, a ceremony. celebration of what though a, a celebration of our love Oh, okay. I mean, we just do it different, King. It's all I, good. I, I was going to say that. It would be a celebration of my love, and she would probably get, you know, um, a half a billion dollars. And see, that's what I was going to say, right? Yeah, a yeah. Woman, she ain't got to get it when she <laughs> leaves, baby. I want you to get it when you're here. But see, that's what I mean, right? It, it, it be you kinda, feel me? If a woman's dating you, you're doing things for her that she's never had done before. You're taking them to Italy. You're buying them crazy cars. You can imagine how she might think, he really likes me. But that's just your lifestyle. That's easy for you. No, nah, I really like him if I'm taking to Italy and buying right. him a car. Mm -hmm. Now nah, I didn't say oh, okay. I, I don't say I ain't really like somebody, mm -hmm. man. I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Time is precious. Time is precious. <laughs> I'm but saying. You don't believe in that. No, I'm saying I, I, I just and and then it's like right now I just want to be single and I just want to have different experiences right. and I want to take my time with my love life and my heart and not have to be uh, be doing it for the gram. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if I like you, I'm going to treat you the best. I'm not go I ain't got no time to be cheap, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got no time to play. You know, so if I, if I like you and we like, I need you to be happy every second of the day. Damn. Yeah, Women are liking this talk. Yeah, I don't want to stay on this, but how are you gonna just give up the five hundred million though? Why do you just get the half yeah, a million like that? You know why? Because you you can't take it with you, and it's also a lot of stress it, it, uh, that 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 sometimes people have to put up with digesting this. You know what I'm saying? So you might as well, you know, be mad in the Maybach. Now let me ask you this. I, call some my home I girl. saw you. I saw you posting. <laughs> by the way, your daughters are all absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So great job with all your kids. Congratulations on that, kid. Yeah. Absolutely. So, when it comes to them dating, yes. it feels like they're that age. Like, what advice do you give your daughters now when it comes to? Dating? I told my daughters straight up. I said, check this out. Dad is like your best friend. I know what all of these guys want to really, really do. I'm going to school y'all to all the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all see, your daddy's a Rolling Stone, and I love y'all. I'm and and I, this is this is just me right now, you know. And um, but but when it come time to start dating, I'm gonna give you all of this, all of the tricks of the trade, you know. And um, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you give it away, it ain't it it ain't worth, it ain't worth as much. It ain't worth. You gotta y'all gotta wait. And take your time, and that's like the conversation to treat yourself like queens, 
and don't do nothing without coming and talk to me. <laughs> now, what did they say? What did they say? Dad, Dad, we love you, Dad. But we see what you do, and we kind of want to follow you because you are our idol, and we look up to you. They, um, I definitely told them, do not follow me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At this point in your life, do not follow me. And, um, you know, I, I j just said your dad is a unique individual, you know? And, and um... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the truth, just just the mm -hmm. uncut truth of, of 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 what it is, is that you know, your dad, you could, you know, that may not be what you what you like, or you may fall in love with somebody like your dad. That's mm -hmm. honest to you. You know what I'm saying? What, what if uh, when they're older in their twenties, they bring home uh, a fifty year old man? What would you say to that? Um. I really would just go on who who really would love my daughters. I really wouldn't go on the age thing, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm I'm 52, and um, I mean I feel better than I've ever felt, and you know, and it's a it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, so yeah, I don't I don't really think you know once people are adults, you know what I'm saying? Like if 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 I'm like you know dating a girl from college or something. And maybe you know we should throw up the red flag, but we talking about if you got a you adult, you got two kids, that's our choice. And I'm definitely you know fly than most you know young boys. Yeah, I mean yeah, young Old boys or you know whatever it is. Yeah, I mean I'm just like timeless. I don't really feel time. Like you know mm -hmm. sometimes when cats be hitting me with the OG, I take it take take it as respect. But sometimes I be feeling like oh uh, um oh oh you think you. <laughs> you think I'm I'm not here no more? <laughs> or you think we can't wrestle? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I mean what? yeah. <laughs> You got into a wrestling and move some furniture around. Bro. Hey, yo, yo. Don't say wrestle, Diddy. Yeah. Say fight. Don't say wrestle. Hey, yo, when I get on you, though, for real, I'm trying to bite your face off. But I don't be doing the same fighting. I'm more of a savage type of fighter. You know what I'm saying? When's the last time you got into a, a wrestling match? Bro? Well, when's the last time you got into a fight? And did Man. you win? It's been a, I mean, it's been a long time. It's, you don't it's, have to. You yeah, pay yeah. people. You don't have to not have to do that kind of his stuff. His name is Love. Diddy okay? does his own work. Does not fight. Well, well, I want to know. If what I saw you fight, I'd be like, I mean, Yo, what's I mean, going on? Who not doing their job? And Diddy fight. It's, it's a friendly fight. Not no real fight. Not no beef. But you know, sometimes you got punch every right now. Friendly. I'd rather see y'all wrestle, to be honest with you. What? You and he, he said punch. I rather see y'all wrestle. It's it's more like grappling. You know what I'm saying? More like. You, are, you gotta you are, stop. You are Why are you UFC? doing this? Hey yo, hey yo, check this out. I'm unpausable. You understand what I'm saying? I'm unpausable. Do y'all think that I care? No. With anything or with anything? No. Hey no. yo, I, 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 I absolutely don't. Y'all don't have to kill an owned by a black man. That's right. You know yeah, what let me, let's I'm just saying, like, I like, I like more hand to hand combat. Oh, you know man. what I'm saying? All right, we gotta move on. Let's talk about the music. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, and I'm not your uncle, though. Uh, For real, I'm your competition. <laughs> I could be your daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm not like your uncle Leroy. So you don't like unk? You don't like OG? None of that? I just like love. No, I don't, I don't take it as a... As anything, but it is 50% of mm -hmm. people in their head that's really like, damn, you know, you know, what's up, OG? You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Where it's like, you could maybe be a little feeble. Don't let these young niggas tr fool you. <laughs> they be trying to motherfucking play you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, could, I could be in something, and it could be, you know, she 28, 30, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Then his time is going to come with the OG like he really yeah, yeah, yeah. disrupting something. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be subliminal OG in, his, in, in age hate in mm -hmm. the industry. You know what I'm saying? So that's you, why you hop off the jet with the shirt off to let them know. It's still nah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm I'm just fighting a good fight right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just speaking my truth so I can have it clear. I don't Word. like to not express myself. Gotcha. So it's not like I'm taking it in a negative way. I'm just mm -hmm. like I'm here prime time. Don't if I use on the court with Jordan, you call Jordan OG. He gonna dunk on you. That's real. You know All what right. I'm saying? So so. I, you know, I respect the OG, but I'm not like an original gangster. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm king. I'm love. Truth. Mm -hmm. And so it, sh it should apply. Now, we seen you, you know on the saying? phone with, with, with Ye the other day, and you were talking about fashion. What was that conversation like? 
Uh-oh. And did you see his fashion choices? Yeah, no. I wasn't on the phone with Ye, actually. Mm-hmm. I was actually speaking. A lot of people don't know my fashion background, but I'm the first African-American to win the CFDA award. Now, this is the most coveted award in fashion. Mm-hmm. Um, no black man had ever won it when I did Sean John, and Sean John was going on the runways. Mm-hmm. It took me like four years to win it, and I won it. And um, so... I'm not like, I'm like a real, real, real designer, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, that has, I, in that getting the CFD award, I had to beat Ralph Lauren and Michael Kors, you know, and so I was saying I was, I'm getting back into fashion, like I'm at my highest level of creativity, my highest frequency, mm. so I'm getting back into fashion, and I was just saying that, you know, that the my quality and everything has to be like really, really up to par because I was like, I want Kanye to call me and ask me, please send me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I, whatever I've made. Gotcha. And then- Like people uh, ask for the Yeezys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel the, like the black Sean John Velour is like that. Yeah, yeah. The, I really do. The Ye standard. So I wanted to come back in because I felt like he held it down while I took <clears> a break from fashion, you know what I'm saying? He held it down, Virgil held it down to the next level, but you know what I'm saying? I am me, and I'm the first African-American, you know, CFD award winner. So my level of things have to be at a higher standard than um than 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 my my you know my counterparts that I look up to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That were able to take the baton and turn them into billion dollar businesses right. mm-hmm. from Sean John. But then I'm, but I'm saying if I'm getting back on the court, now nah, I'm playing to make sure, you know, that's when you know it's hot when they call and ask them for the boxes. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's what I was saying. And then I was going to put out these T-shirts today, um, Kanye or nothing. And then Kanye, my boy. <laughs> Kanye, my boy. Now, this, this is where he need the OG Kanye, talk. Kanye, my boy. White lives matter. Kanye, my boy, is is a super, super, super free thinker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times what he means is is like misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes just, you know. You gotta stop making excuses for him, Paul. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not making ex- ex- excuses. I'm just saying that if he did it, like that's the way he thinks. And so, you know, and I understand white lives do matter, but it's not that. That was our slogan. That wasn't our slogan to go share with, with, with nobody else. And so that's the, that's the only message. We don't have to condemn Kanye or cancel him. For, we does not have to go crazy. But at the same time, you know, saying you got to be, you, you, you got to understand, like, your actions. You know what I'm saying? And so, that, you know, the action of that, you know, I couldn't put out the Kanye and nothing T-shirt. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it on today. And I wanted to put out a t- my first T-shirt to tribute Kanye. And I'm still do it. I just need a couple of days to get over mm-hmm. this T-shirt gotcha. because right now we the ones that are that are dying. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That are incarcerated. Mm-hmm. You that are left in poverty, mm-hmm. not getting no. You know any 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 money for retribute what is it um, reparations reparations yep. and on top of that you know flooding our communities with drugs and guns and we know all this and they still not trying to break us off which that's the next level we got to go to so it really us. ain't no time for no other lives mattering that's right. right now but the tribe you have to be unapologetically right. black and love your people and love mm-hmm. your tribe first if you heard something was going on your ass would be running to your house first that's right. you would not be going to your neighbor's house first they'd be running to their house first we got to run to our house first and we ain't got no time for like no internet mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like white lives matter to, to put that up against the black lives matter now nah, we need to be focused on ourselves mm-hmm. let the white lives let them white live they self out let's 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 black lives ourselves <laughs> you know what i'm saying right now and and i don't think no it's it's not the time for unnecessary noise with you know him or or Karen Owens, you know what I'm saying? Because this is really Candace. 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 Karen Candace. She Karen Owens now. <laughs> <laughs> That's her new name. Daddy, yeah. Diddy. She Candace <laughs> is too black of a name. Mm. She's Karen Owens. Mm. All right. But, so <laughs> that's what I've always respected about you, 
the Jay Z's of the world, Andre Harrell, God bless the dead. Y'all were always unapologetically black in y'all mogul journey. The problem I be having with Ye sometimes is like he goes out of his way to seek white validation. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's way too serious now. We sitting here, we like this, mm -hmm. we less than 1%. Mm -hmm. Instagram got the algorithm, TikTok got the algorithm of just niggas just having fun, black people just mm -hmm. having fun, brown people <clears throat> just having fun, mm -hmm. and everybody is starving at a level that, that I don't think people know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's really what's going on. So it's just no time to be, do nothing but to, sh to shed light and focus on that. You know what I'm saying? From, as I said, from incarceration to pot. If somebody want to get jo a job, how do they get a job? Like, mm -hmm. are you serious? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't on Instagram doing digital stuff, there's no other job for you but to sell drugs and, uh, you know what I'm saying, scam or whatever it is. And it's just like, like we can't be tone deaf. That's right. You know what I'm saying? As a people. And so to me, it was very tone deaf. But I'm not I'm not condemning my brother because I, I like it when he's a free thinker. Mm -hmm. But I just think that this time is the wrong time because we don't need to get distracted. We really need to know what's going on. Besides Instagram, what's going on in our communities? Right. That's right. I want to talk to you about being an artist, man, because I feel like regardless of how big of a mogul you are, you're always in artist mode. Does that artist hunger ever leave you? Yeah, I would say um, I lost my artist for like eight years. And like the last two years, I, I really started to get it back. When I say I lost my artist, that's the artist, the creativity in me. So that's why I'm at a highly, highly creative zone. I want to send a shout out to, to all, all of the seasoned executives and seasoned creatives. I'm always looking for new creatives, but I'm, I am trying to poach people from, you know, some of the top companies that know the information that we need to know to be able to not just compete, but to dominate, you know? Mm -hmm. It wasn't because the liquor did so well, you pivoted? Because the one time it was all about the rock and all about De Leon, and it was less about Diddy the artist. Yeah, I, I um, you know, it, you know, um, the money had got to me, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't really inspired. And so, like, yeah, I, w I was really down a road of understanding, you know, like like high level corporate business at a whole nother level. And so it was like a a a, a time for me to learn more. Mm -hmm. But but I was I was empty. You know what I'm saying? I was empty. I felt lost. My frequency was down and because I wasn't creating. And so I'm here to create and sometimes you have to you have to go and, and touch the money and touch it said to realize nah that's that that's not that's not what I'm here to do. You know what I'm saying? So artistically you know, I'm I'm back all the way, you know what I'm saying, as far as as my thoughts and now even the resources. I used to just have picket signs. Now I got, you know, technology. So, you know, I'm just trying to make the highest art that I can. And um yeah, I'm I'm very excited for Sean John to be back and for me to be starting that project in, we need the, in black the next Velours. couple of weeks. The black yeah. velours yeah. need doing I still that. have mine. <laughs> yeah. Now how how has the project been coming along? Because I know yeah. you've been working on it for some time now. Yeah. So are there songs confirmed? Do we have a release date? Yes. I, I was and, and just back to that question about just being an artist. That's 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 what I'm deeply into right now. I have a new album coming out. It's an all R and B album. Um, it'll be out, you know, I would say top of the year, it'll be out. And it's an all, uh, it's an all, um, it's like the Super Bowl of R&B. Mm -hmm. And it's just my take. That's always been my gift, which was making R&B before the business and entrepreneur stuff. It was the way the sounds I put on my life, the core changes, mm -hmm. the experience I've had with Joe to see, mm -hmm. um, you know, 112, Day 26, Thomas, New Edition, Carl Davis. Thomas, Aretha Franklin, Total. Beyonce, Total. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that's that's home to me. Mm -hmm. And so making that right now and, you know, as, as, far as, as far as my name being changed to love and we're in the love era, I'm making the music that goes with that. Because I was also saying, like, my girl's going to have no music to fall in love to. You know what I'm saying? You know, everything is just, it, it's not vulnerable and 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 baby making enough or, it, you know, it's not making me dance. So I'm making R&B to make you dance, 
R&B to make babies to, to make love and why you know, now? just that soul. Because I think it's needed now more than ever. I think that the images and the, and, and the frequency that we live in is a very dangerous frequency for black people and all people, you know what I'm saying? But for me, I was doing it because as us, as, as people of color, we were losing our African-American culture. This is our greatest export ever, which is soul music, which soul mm -hmm. music had, had everything from jazz to the blues to rock and roll to hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And so R&B is, 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 you know, is, is really, really an important, not just a genre of music, for them, for the computers to, to give numbers to, but it's, it's an art form, it's a feeling, it's a frequency. They got mad at you when with, you said yeah. R&B was dead, though. Yeah, they could get mad at me all they want. Because, upset about that one. Yeah, yeah, they could be upset all they want, you know, because I'm always going to give you the truth. And when something is alive and thriving, then it's alive and thriving, you know? When something doesn't have the resources and Billboard has hip-hop going against um, R&B. R&B. That was an excellent point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 there's no way to compete. So y you have artists that are making R&B that are so sad because they not... They don't have no hits. The hits is what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then if you're just living in a, a sad zone, that's the only thing, you know, you know, that's being put out. But um and and so it it, it hasn't been alive because it doesn't have the resources to be alive. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 um it's doing the best it can and the artists are doing the best it can. But the thing I was talking about was the way everything's being programmed and the resources. And I used to be bugging out, like, is there a conspiracy to just put out negative music? Mm -hmm. There is like, I would be, there is a little conspiracy for the darkness. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's <laughs> the, in the media too. And You know what I'm saying? The darkness is at a heavy, heavy rate. So why now? Because I, I, I feel I'm, I'm at a frequency I'm in my godly, I'm walking in the spirit, and it's best time for me to make the music because the purpose is bigger than the moment. It's, it's not about me. I've left me. I'm into we. All of the people, we had an industry, an ecosystem of musicians, of writers, of, of people from the church, of emotions, of things that were the heartbeat of us. You know what I'm saying? And so when 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 that musicality left and it, it started, everything started to sound like computer beats, I, as a gatekeeper of R&B, was like feeling like Batman. Mm -hmm. Like it's time to get back out there. What are some of the things you'll be talking about? So we know that Gotta Move On, that comes from a real place. But mm -hmm. what other real places are you going to be discussing? I have a song called Kim Porter. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's the one with John Legend? Yeah, with John Legend Oof. and Babyface. Um, and it, it talks about like how I used to wait for the sound of her voice six days and seven nights because you know we didn't have no you didn't have no social media so like your girl could really go m.i.a like mm -hmm. just just disappear change her number whatever guard at the door not let you in you just you'd be waiting as long until she was ready and i'd be waiting for that call that call and then i would get that call and i was you know with this album it's about like all of my all of my experiences you know what i'm saying I heard a version of that record, and I remember when I heard it, I was like, that had to hurt. Yeah. Hurt. Like, it had to hurt just yeah. to even make it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole concept for me was I wanted to make a record that, you know, I like to have my cake and eat it, too. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I, I'm not sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted God to hear this song and take it to him and say, I, I'm child, I'm allow you to go visit him in his dreams. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because he made this song that was so like beautiful, and it's not a sad song, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's a song about the type of love we all yearn and hope to have. It feel like you 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 realize that you missed out when I hear that record. Like I should have, this is who I should have married almost. Yeah, I, I never I never went through that feeling of okay, I messed up. This is who I should have married because we honestly not everybody wants to get married. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, and 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 sh and for somebody to love you and to understand that I didn't come, I didn't come from that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, because my father was killed and my mother didn't, they didn't. So I I just didn't come from that. So the time that we had, the way it was, was absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Was absolutely what 
I had no regrets, you know what I'm saying? I spoiled her, I loved her, I did everything. And me and her had the conversation about getting married, so I I felt comfortable mm -hmm. with that. So I'm not like, oh man, I uh, messed up. I'm like just, oh man, just like like my, you know, my best friend isn't here, you know? Who was your shoulder to lean on during all that time, you know? Who did you lean on? Who did you hug? Who did you call? Who was in your corner? Who was, did, what you do for everybody, who was doing that for, for you? Yeah, I have this problem where when it gets real, real intense, you know, um, I'll isolate myself. So I was mostly, it, it, it was God. God had to pull me through because mm -hmm. I just had, like, locked myself in the room for, like, like a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't even deal with the reality that I had six kids out there that I had to raise. I was almost, like, you know, hiding from them trying to figure out, okay, what am I supposed to do? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and the craziest thing, the person that I leaned on was her. Because um, I knew the spirit didn't die. And I knew if I asked a question and know her, I would get the right answer. So that's helped me with everything I do as far as raising my kids, is the things that I've seen her do and I learned from her. You think you're going to be able to perform that record? Because recently you've been dedicating Missing You to her. You think you'd be able to do the, the record with John Legend and Babyface? Yeah. yeah, the record is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The record is beautiful. I'm, I'm happy to say I've gone through my healing journey and everybody that has gone through grief, I'm actually like coming out of that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I feel good and I feel great and I understand that I'm happy for the time that I got. I'm happy for the 20 years. A lot of times you don't even get that, right. you know what I'm saying? And to have my girls, it's just like, Almost God is playing tricks on me because my girl is growing up and I, it's like I have two Kims. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're you know like saying? young models and yeah. very talented. Yeah, but they're just like their mother, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like... Uh, psychologically, no, that's got to be like, ah, oh, so mind fuck too. Nah, though. it's like... it's like She lives it, on. No, it was like, yeah, like God is the greatest. Mm -hmm. Look uh -huh. at this. Like God is, is the greatest. He didn't... God just didn't leave me, you know what I'm saying? Like... Mm -hmm. He 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 left me, he left me with what I needed. You and know how are you enjoying that part of it? The daddy, I call it the daddy daycare. The daddy daycare part. I see you dropping them off at school. <laughs> I seen you. And you uh, got fly, you got fly older kids. Like they old enough to keep you in tune. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, so how are you enjoying that? I seen you at the the other day where they would do, do at the chair game. You know, yeah. cheering. So how are you enjoying that part of it? Because that's a part that you didn't necessarily have to do, but now you have to do. That's twenty four seven. Crazy in the stands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's that's why I'm here. Like that's <laughs> that's definitely one of my top purposes. You know what I'm saying? Even I do other things. It's my kids. It's my proudest moment. It's my most ball. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's my most ball in this moment. Absolutely. I'm gonna just say. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a, I, I, I could pull out yeah. twenty Maybachs, three helicopters, drop five million on the yeah, city. Yeah, yeah. But the magic of like how I have raised my kids. The Combs Cartel. The, and 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 how yeah. respectful they are, Facts. and how kind and how generous and how they listen and and re, and you know and respect me, mm -hmm. um, it's just such a blessing and to see their dreams come true, and like so I, when I was on stage the other day, I was on the stage with Christian, and I was just like, man, like this is incredible. He was killing you too, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, and I yeah, I want to go back he to was that. Killing you. I want to go back to that. That <laughs> I'm not. I'm 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 training extra hard right now. <laughs> he will not be out bopping me. But the bop was a little fluid. No, 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 he was floating. Yeah, he was floating. Yeah, yeah. You know where you got it from, but still. I mean, listen, no, no, no. I'm I'm taking that. He's in the lead right now on the bop. He's about to kill the BET Awards. Y'all mm -hmm. gonna be saying, Puff, you can retire now. And um I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> He said he took a couple of bops from me, but he said he got you though. When I I'm not, him. I'm not leaving. I'm not, I'm not leaving. How, how does Love Records? Differ I'm not from, fucking leaving. How does Love differ from Bad Boy? I mean, Love Records is an all R and B label. You know what I'm saying? That's really dedicated to that genre of like soul music. Even you know, um, but but I call it hip hop soul. You know, so you know we may even have we, we're gonna have. Artists that 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 you know that actually you know really sing, and um, you know fill that void of love. If you're driving down, I remember driving down the FDR, not FDR West Side, West Side Highway. Highway uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And just with my girl and having a song to sing to her, 
And it's like, you know, when you with your dog and you singing like, forever, my lady. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Means, and you like singing off key to her and she blushing. How can, where you doing that now? What you singing to her now, though? You know what I'm saying? And so, and there's nothing wrong with that because there's a code to how to make it and you gotta be in the frequency and I'm in the frequency and I want to take that challenge. Why not take some of the young artists and give them that 90s feel? Cause it's like, you did shit on a whole genre of dope ass young R&B artists. You got the Ari Lennox, Summer Walker. What artists do you feel like are out good? What R&B artists? Some of the list of artists. You got the list. Babyface has an album with um, all women yeah. um, R&B artists who are out now. Yeah, the talking point. She wants the yeah. list of artists that he's... We love us some Ari Lennox. Because you did, you did shit on a whole her. genre of new dope-ass artists, did he? No, and no, a lot, no. And a lot of youngins be like, well, he's not no, in tune. Okay, okay, you you know what it is? Right, until you, it's on the It's song. very important to clear that up. That mm-hmm. was in no intention to shit on anybody. I'm only here to elevate, you know what I'm saying? And... um. When I was saying that, I was I'm talking about the resources. The mm-hmm. system. I wasn't talking about like yo the singers are bad. I was mm. like you could have the hottest R and B record and nobody will know because That's there's real. not enough playlists. Mm-hmm. There's not enough money to 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 really present you in the right way as a superstar. You can't make videos to compete with hip hop artists, and also making an R and B song of quality takes a longer time than hip hop. Mm-hmm. And and then the way the charts were set up, the charts is designed for you. The charts is where you get yesterday's price. I mean, t- today's price was not yesterday's today's price. price. Mm-hmm. Am mm-hmm. I saying it right? Yesterday's, yesterday's price, price not, not today's, today's price. price. Yesterday's mm-hmm. price is not today's price. You get that from the chart. You go number one and then... It's a new price. But yeah, if you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. get to number one, then you're not really alive, you know what I'm saying? And so I was not directing it towards any gotcha. artist because there's so many great young artists that are out here. And I don't just represent um, 90s R&B. Like, like, I can make anything and make it modern. So I'm excited for y'all to, like, you know, hear the new sound. But of course I couldn't go and do it without the young artists. I couldn't do it without Summer Walker. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do it without Jacquees. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't say everybody's name. Let me read it for you. Uh, <laughs> no, we, we got you. But you know, I was going to ask you too. You know, it's we, a oh, you don't want to give up all the, everybody on the that's on the album. Is what yeah, you said. yeah, because I'm okay. going to announce it. You know what I'm saying? Ari Lennox is another one. SZA. I don't know if they're on the album, but those yeah, yeah. are great. Yeah, you know, Brent Fiaz. Mm-hmm. Brent Fiaz. I was going to ask you. You know, what did you think about right where you look at an artist Mace? Right, was upset for you for years. Yes. Then down the line, he has an artist. Mm-hmm. And then recently, his artist is upset because he's basically said allegedly that Mace didn't pay him, and there was problems. Yeah. Do you look at that and be like, "That's an, that's just an executive," or is it one of those things like I told you? No, I don't. I don't, I don't look at it like that. Um, first of all, because what he had a problem I, first with. First of you all, did, he, his artist first, so, the same first thing. of all, see, I didn't do nothing to him. So let's go back to the first. The first of all. The first of all is is there has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not true mm-hmm. and has really stained, tried to stain, stain my legacy. I've always been a person, I don't like to get in just talking people's business and things like that. But not right now. I have made it my purpose that when I come back, I can't have y'all, y'all, y'all following me because I am here to be a leader and to give some direction. If you think that I'm a scumbag that will ever steal anything, my name is Diddy, Sean Combs. I never took nothing from nobody a day in my life. All I've ever given is is opportunity and 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 more money than a person was making. So when I hear like or I see things and I'm like, wow, this 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 vibe that they got on me, like I'm Big Red or something. I came here, I had to open up the doors. So you're saying you I don't, made, you, 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 you don't made, steal from artists is what you're saying? Never, never, So how never, does a narrative like that happen ne- with so ne- many ne- different ne- people? Because people have this thing called the, the tap out button. When you get to a certain point and the money is running low, 
you want to you got to run this hustle to try to find somebody to blame mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying i have all my receipts and so we are going to do a special a retrospective with all the artists and we're going to get this narrative clear because it comes from different tactics when people want to get out of contracts and and a lot of people that speak on this y'all don't know the business y'all don't know what y'all are talking about so it's going to be a teaching moment of love because it is important i feel fight for your reputation mm -hmm. i'm gonna fight for my reputation i'm gonna fight for the honorable man i am the righteous king that i am i'm not perfect you know what i'm saying it could have been an accountant mess up on this one or that one, things that happen in the business. But me actually, like, I'm running a hustle to get money. I started de delivering papers at 12 years old. I was a millionaire when I was 19. You know what I'm saying? And so I will be making sure that the truth comes out because that's not going down in, 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 in my legacy. And to me, that's the worst thing in the world is a thief. The thief is the worst thing. His hand should be chopped. Her hand should be chopped off. His or her hand should be. That's the way I feel about somebody taking something from somebody that ain't theirs. You know what I'm saying? When you could go out and you could go and work for something. And so that right there, um, I just, just, you know, just in general, it, you know, the Mace thing, you know, I did one album with Mace. One album. How much money do you think I owe this guy? One album, and then he became a fake pastor and went and conned people, and then y'all gonna let him throw dirt on the God's name? We going, we, I wrote each and every one, and each and every body, anybody could come and step up, bring your receipts, but I'm not playing. I'm back outside and I'm fighting back for us and I'm also doing do a little fighting back for me, you know what I'm saying? So how much money does? And I'm, I'm just throwing this out. How much money does somebody like a Mace owe you? Because the, the reason I Mace say that, owes me three million dollars. That's <laughs> facts. I got the receipt. Second album, you gave money to do. Second album, never delivered. Did the album never delivered? You know okay. what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna go back and forth with Mace. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I'm just gonna if I'm here, I'm gonna speak up for my. I'm gonna Absolutely. speak up for myself now. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm not going to have you think something that I I hate. I hate a thief. I hate somebody that don't got and I don't hate nobody, but that's with with somebody that just got to take something that somebody else worked for mm -hmm. just for their benefit and their friend. I I don't like that. You so know you're what really saying? doing a special like you're taping a special to address I think these. Diddy just came up with that idea right now. No, no. Oh, I was <laughs> more saying, you know, I'm going to use, you know, I have a very I have a very um, successful thank you to everybody for supporting network. Mm -hmm. So Revolt. yeah, I'm gonna go and tell my story on 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 my network with one of my podcasts, and I'm gonna also get the artists that that you know together to to um you know help me clear this up. What would the lot say? Like, I spoke to the lot. Yeah, I told the lot. They gonna help me clear it up. Yeah. They know, I mean, people, I mean, the truth going to be the truth. But we're going to get to the truth. As long as I'm outside, we're going to get, not trying to start nothing with nobody. Mace, I love Mace. If anything, and I will tell anybody, anybody thinks I owe some, show me the receipt. You get paid in 24 hours. Because sometimes there's accounting problems. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. there's, but there's public money? Public you know, are we all good? Well, oh, we never really got a big check from yeah, Revolt, that but was, that's nothing. That you really know went what through. I mean? have nothing to do. No, 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 no. I'm going to tell you what happened with that. You know what I'm saying? Your people at Our Heart, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I gave them the money. And and they kept all the money. Mm. I believe it. They kept they 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 kept all the money. So now now that's why y'all could come to me direct, mm -hmm. and y'all get the direct. <laughs> you feel me? We take I'm making PayPal, a lot of changes. Cash App, Venmo. Zell. Hey, yo, Zell. Hey, yo, I really hey, did hey, enjoy. Yo, I enjoy being on Revolt. <laughs> if you People come over, to, yeah. If you come over to Revolt, 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 right now. You remember how y'all was saying like Revolt ain't paying? We we being cheap. Not yeah, we was a, we we was a startup company. Y'all good now? Yeah, yeah nah, 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 I actually do now. a lot of stuff with Revolt on other shows, and yes. they always take care of me. Yes, and it's always Street, a pleasant experience. Yes. Everybody now. there is yes. everything smooth. Flights, yeah. rooms. Yeah, they might go too, guys. Damn, I, hold, I got a couple more questions. No, 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 hold on. And 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 um and I want to say about this this show. This show is is as big as it is because we unified. Mm -hmm. 
And that's just facts. That's People always number. are like, how come y'all not you know on the boat so, anymore? So, so, yeah, so just make sure, as y'all out there, make sure the way you speak about the God, you feel me? Just speak about it, like, from a place of knowledge and a place of receipts. And, um, yeah. What's um, new on Revolt coming up? New on Revolt? I mean, Carisha, please. Mm -hmm. And, um... She won last night. Listen, you know Carisha, I love Carisha. Please yeah. won last wait, night. Wait, wait, wait. I love yeah, Carisha. She did Black Oprah. Wow. She did, but it tied with Drink Champs. Diddy, you know that's some bullshit. What? It tied. It tied. I thought it, it tied. Carisha, please, and Drink Champs tied for best podcast. They both on revolt. So you paid for that? No, I didn't pay for that. Drink Champ should have won that, that hand down. Hey, yo, 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 I didn't pay for that. I'm a, Drink Champ, Carisha, got, got, and I love Carisha. She only got five episodes. How she beat Drink Champ for best podcast? Did he? Come on now. Because it was the best podcast Stop. of the year, hands down. And I love Carisha. Ha hands down, it was the best podcast of the year. No, but you know what? I get at the Drink Champs. And, and million dollars worth of game. And I feel hey. like a, a lot of women podcasters don't get their just due. And so I best do podcast love of the doing. year, did he? Yes. Yes. Come on, over Drink Champs a million dollars worth of game? Hey, yo. Hey, yo, Pete. Hey, Did hey, Dan Leon hey, run for the BET hey, Hip Hop Awards? Hey, check it out. Don't be mad at me because I'm a winner, all right? <laughs> Don't be mad at she me because I'm a winner. You stay with me, man. Yeah, you would have stayed, you may have won. Like, well, like, congrats, Carisha, for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's Con get, congrats Diddy to the queen. Go. Congrats. <laughs> Diddy, what a no, no, you had, you had one or two I do, I do, I do, because I want to okay. go back to something that you said earlier. <laughs> because put glasses back on for this. <laughs> but no, because I think that people don't know this about... Diddy, when you said that, you know, uh, what the music. What are you sipping the, in the, there, Puff? I'm just curious. Water. Oh, all right. When you said yeah. the music got dark, that's kind of always been your thing, right? Because you've always, I remember, you know, the thing, you didn't want to feel like you was being blasphemous, being on the cross in the Hate Me Now video, or the stories of you making big change lyrics because they've been too dark. So that's always kind of been your thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I truly believe what you say in records that you're manifesting. Mu music is magic, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I try to, you know, j just say things that are positive. Mm hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, tell the truth, though, when Biggie's telling the truth about something, it's the truth. But, you know, um, it's very, very powerful. So that's the frequency I want to bring. And I'm not knocking the other frequency. Mm -hmm. I just want to be the frequency when you want to feel good, when you want to be happy, when you want to make love. And do, do, you, do you believe an artist can be blackballed? Because that's a conversation that's happening now. People feel like they're being blackballed. You know, not being on the playlist, things yeah. of that nature. I, I, I'll say one of the biggest problems right now is the algorithm and the way the whole game is set up. The game is set up for, you know, um, you know, white corporations to actually, like, decide on what's hot and what's not. And this is a fact. These are white-owned corporations iHeart is a white-owned corporation. Apple's a white-owned co corporation. Mm -hmm. um, Spotify. Spotify. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Apple is half, I mean, t title's half and half. You know what I'm saying? But title, if anything, would be the truest for the artist. But the algorithms that set up is 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 set is, is set up in the playlist those decisions are being made by people that never made a hit record mm -hmm. so it, it's it's like charles barkley sitting there talking to skip whatever like what is skip talking about why how can skip say he knows really what's going on so it's like the way it's set up who gets played is basically based on somebody that's never been in the game that's not in the culture that's not outside you know what I'm saying? And then once it's in there, because they're on the playlist, then they go to the top because of the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing as far as with radio being ran by media base. So it's just taking all of the soul out the music, mm -hmm. all of the soul out the music. But I just, you know, I, I, I feel like at that, that at the end of the day, like the real win. So I'm, I'm coming up with just different other ways and platforms to distribute music and to digest music, you know what I'm saying? Because right now it's 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 lifeless. Mm -hmm. It's not really you're not getting goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? And I was gonna ask why, why did you find it important to take away? You know, because everybody was releasing records on Friday, right? And you said no more of that. You're not releasing records on Friday. You're gonna release a record whenever the hell you want. Yeah. Why was that important to you? Because that was just so crazy that they was able to actually bamboozle and make people follow these orders. Y'all don't even know who these people are. Do y'all know who's running the playlist? Do y'all know who, mm. who's feeding you the music to your phone? You, you know what I'm saying? And and it's making you whack because you 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 doing whack TikTok moves. 
You know what I'm saying? You're not being yourself. And the record that you chose, you didn't even choose. You know what I'm saying? And so then, then there's quality records that that also when they talk about a certain level of frequency, they don't even get considered. They don't even play that frequency. So they constantly bang you with the frequency of, of death, destruction, and darkness, mm -hmm. and depression. And so I'm coming with a higher frequency, and I'm not following none of their rules. And if they don't play my stuff, then I'm coming at them like they taking money out of my kids' pockets. I'm not playing with them. This, this business of music is a rough business, and they playing rough, and I'm back outside, and they're going to play my stuff. I ain't going to be calling them, begging them nothing, because the I don't record, even know who they are. What if they just don't like the record? Can you accept that? Yeah, I could, I could accept if you don't like the record. I could accept if you don't like the record. But they got to give it a shot. Yeah, I mean, you don't, I mean, you don't have to give it a shot, but you, but you, you can't play if the people's calling it a hit. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't like just like are you not gonna play my record because you don't like it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, who are you? Mm -hmm. you yeah, know I've what never saying? liked that. I've never liked one person deciding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Never so, that. so, 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 I'm definitely here to disrupt the system for all of the great music mm -hmm. that it doesn't have like a platform. I want, I want to make great music cool. Mm -hmm. And and another thing, I want to, I'm, I'm here really to also deliver a message to New York artists. Mm -hmm. New York artists, we are in last place. We have to press the hard reset button and get back to being us. I love that we know how to rap on trap beats. I love that we know how to rap on drill beats from London. But what are we rapping that on that's coming from out of this city? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 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 I, I don't want to sit back and watch my city just stay in last place and keep on following what everybody else is doing. We the swag. We the alpha. You know what I'm saying? The Alpha and the Omega. We started it. You know what I'm saying? And no disrespect to nobody else, but we should be competing. We should be competing from from New York in a way where you have to figure out, okay, this is what's going on, that's what's going on. How am I going to produce something that makes our people move mm -hmm. so we could do us? Who's keeping you in tune with New York? Is it Ivy? Yeah, and I, Ivy Rivera. Yeah, yeah. I, Ivy's keeping me in in tune with New York, and then I, Groovy Lou, and then just you know me and just my sons. The Puff they makes calls too. Mm -hmm. I will say that Puff definitely makes call. He calls the DJs. He's on top of them. He FaceTimes them. He he ain't he ain't executive the billionaire executive that's sitting on his hands. He's mm -hmm. he's out there yeah. working. Yeah, I love this. I love this. I love mm -hmm. music, and I'm blessed. I'm 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 in a point of gratitude. Just in my life right now, I'm walking in a spirit and a frequency that I invite y'all to walk in that's in gratitude of what we have right now and where we came from and how I'm actually looking at y'all. And we here mm -hmm. and we're doing what we love and we have power to make changes. And so I'm, I'm, I'm walking in that gratitude. I appreciate y'all interviewing me, always giving me a platform to speak. You know, being partners with me and me, me working with me with Revolt. Next time, hopefully, we'll be you know we'll be partners. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I think it's 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 good when we all come work together for us. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to the white corporations, but there's some black corporations that's gonna be built. That's right. We need the best of the best to be rocking with us. But yeah, man, it's a blessing to to be making music, have a hit record, have my son have a hit record, and to be talking to you guys where my life isn't in turmoil. Because sometimes you come on The mm -hmm. Breakfast Club and your life could be in turmoil. Facts. I'm very happy and I, I wish everybody the best. And I'm here to to, to, to change the world and, uh, and and to help save the black race. No, I see God on you. Like, even when I saw you at uh, the Potter House, man, and, you know, when you went up to the altar, I just was like, mm -hmm. there's something happening with... With, with Mr. Combs. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, something's moving through him. Now, I am love. You know what I'm saying? I remember Andre Harrell told me, don't talk love, be love. Mm. And I am love. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm imperfect. But that that's what I'm walking in. And it feels great because it, 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 it controls everything in you. And you know that you're unstoppable. And I know that love, I know that once we come together in unity as a people, you know what I'm saying? And we could do it overnight, you know? That that love that we got to tap into is is, is going to be that superpower to, to to make this thing change. Word, but love let's matters. The, let's introduce the record. We Black the lives record, right? matter. So yeah, we gonna, we gonna play this remix. Can we play this remix? Or do we gotta wait for Friday? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Come on, we gonna play this remix <laughs> right now. So this is the remix. Did he gotta move on? Featuring Young Miami and Ashanti. Word. Yeah, Bryson Tiller, mm -hmm. Will Tracks.
Mm-hmm. Done by Ron Browns. New York. All right, let's do it. It's Puff. It's oh, you call you Puff. Diddy. Yes. Love. Nah, y- 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 y'all can call me all of that though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's Puff. It's Diddy. It's Love. Yeah, yeah. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning. 